So what league? What league is this arena football in? Um, it's in the AFL. I want to say. It's like the main one. I think so. I don't know, man. This this nigga went on this crazy rant, but I want to say it is the AFL league. Let me see. It's the Albany, uh, Albany Empire. This nigga's hair is ridiculous. Yeah, they were part of the AFL, the Arena Football League. So he bought, so he, he lost his job and he makes mm -hmm. a huge purchase. Why would he do that? Right, and, and, uh, see, and people was like, oh, it's like a child. It's a. It's like a movie star. Or not, uh, uh, it's a. It's like a movie player because his dad played was like an arena football legend in Albany. Not that same team, but this is the next team that's in Albany. So he bought it. Him and his and he put his dad also in the business. And what the fuck is these shoes about, this nigga got on? These big ass clog slippers this nigga got on. They look like Crocs, but like the sole of them hoes five feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> and like whenever he bought the team, they said like the the team kind of went into panic mode because they already seen this nigga don't pay people. <laughs> so you saying the players not getting paid? Yeah, coach too. Coach quit. Head coach. Because they ain't quit. getting paid? Because he ain't get paid. So did he not... So, how? Like, how do you buy a team? Right. And like, is there not an infrastructure so, already there for niggas to get paid? Like, so what happened was first he bought the team, right? But there's when they when he bought the team, in between the transition, there was some technical issues, but it caused delays. Sound and like some financial people, issues. No, like and like it's just because of how like. It the, the when they bought it, it happened so fast. They it was like around also payday, so they couldn't really. It, it did some funny. Sh I don't know, it was some weird with the banks, whatever. Eventually, one player did get paid, but uh, or like two or three players got paid, but the other still, their shit got delayed, and so they was coming back from the game, and they was like, they was yelling at the staff, but they're like, bro, we can't do nothing. Like you know what I'm saying? It, it was something with the with the system and when they transfer the ownership and all this and that, it just kind of fucked up payment a little bit. So it, wasn't, pay. so it wasn't AB fault and everybody is going to get paid. Is what you Most saying. people got it, but some people still didn't get paid. So the coach ended up just quitting. And then, uh, that while they're arguing on the bus about payment, a kicker gets punched in the face by another teammate. <laughs> This nigga what? puts in a an assault charge, and so now the team got bad publicity. And granted, and and, and you got to take effect. This team has won the AFL championship the last two years, back to back. The <laughs> team so he now bought. The team, like, yeah, and the team is like starting to implode right after he bought it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so the coach coincidence? I think not. Like and that's why everybody's like the coach doesn't get paid and then so his he like um his first game as owner he's like walking around in the field and it's like security guards like come on man you gotta get out the field and he's like I own this field I ain't gotta get off and he's like I don't care bro you gotta get off the field cause, you know the game or whatever and he's like man you get off the field <laughs> like he start being childish bro because he a he childish and so and then he he's like. I handled it like a true professional. He posted that shit online like he did a good thing. And everybody was like, <laughs> nigga, get off the field. People trying to play you. <laughs> Hold on, let me, let, me, let, me, let me listen to this video. Two it says, uh, it says, AB before the hit from Vontez Burfitt and after the <laughs> hit from Vontez Burfitt. <laughs> top of the mountain. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. uh, the top of the mountain, mm -hmm. uh, the buildings, the towers. Sure. Uh, what first, you... first, second, third. The field, first time it seemed like. 
two. Bontemps perfect, and yes. Oh, my goodness. First off, what do you mean? What do you mean? You don't know about CT? I know about CT. So how do they test CT? I, well, I know about When you freaking died at CT, so how you gonna say a player that's living in real time who putting a real song wrong? I told you, maybe I should have not taken on my shirt and ran off. But at that point, I was feeling too sexy. The whole fucking stadium yeah, yeah, yelling. Yeah. This guy just said, fuck me, he get the fuck out of here. So I'm throwing your shit. I'm not wondering where your logos, I'm out. Were you hearing that song in your head at that moment? Bro, like, that's you not I'm CT, really feeling sexy, know what it literally, is. not the song. <laughs> Bro, listen, I wait. Man, what? <laughs> I just, I just don't even know where to start on all that, bro. Uh, that nigga always has me baffled. I just don't even know where to start, bro. Bro, no, it, it gets crazier, bro. No shit. I just, like, that wasn't even that crazy. It's just the fact that I don't even know where to start, bro. Like, it's. So, so the coach quits because they ain't got paid. Kicker gets punched in the face, puts in an assault with the police. Um, the thing with the security guard. And then when it, when when people ain't getting paid, he's like, "Well, I don't own the team." He's like, "The the, the team is owned by a trust, Antonio L. Ahim, something enterprise, <laughs> and it's owned by Antonio something, who's not a who's a foreign national." He's like, "I don't I, I don't I don't own the team." <laughs> so that's his story. Like, he's sticking to it. I was like, bro, you literally just said it's a trust that's named after you. <laughs> so we all know it's yours, you fucking idiot. <laughs> wow. I was like, damn. And then he does that, right? And then uh, just a couple of days ago is when they got kicked out the league because he decides to have a press conference with his shirt off. And he's talking about, yo, y'all are hearing things, but this ain't true. You know, I'm, I'm here to... Uh, I came back to the community to give back and uh, and make people's dreams come true. Uh, you know, some of these owners that they ain't got money to be in this league like like I do. And this nigga's being uh, kicked out the league because he ain't paid his league dues. So he ain't paid and his I, league dues either. Yep. Nope. So that's kind of that's on him right there, then, right? Unless yep. he's got people to handle that and they're not handling it. And they're all like, bro, like. And he and that was like he ain't paid the lead dude in weeks, and they trying to get this nigga to pay, and then he go and pull this stunt, and start talking shit about, you know, the owners ain't ain't got the money to be in the league, but he ain't paid the league fee, and so they while he doing this press conference, all the owners get together to kick this nigga out the league. <laughs> so did they kick him out successfully? Yep, he out the league. So this was short lived. <laughs> Why do they even allow this nigga to do this shit? Because, you know, you can't just buy no NBA team and no NFL team. All the other owners got to pretty much agree. I mean, I guess in the arena football, it's a little bit different. Like, they, they kicked him out. He's he, he 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 thinking about joining another league, but I'm like, God, bro, like. They can't blame anyone but themselves, nigga. It's like, it's like Gatorade going to go get that nigga a deal after knowing who he is. Uh, well, if you do that, it's on you, you fucking idiot. You know? No, nah, like, exactly. And that's why a lot of players were, like, kind of skeptical when he took over the team. Because they're like, nigga, this nigga's known for not paying people. Like Donald Trump. <laughs> Man, I just want to give... Well, but you, you should have seen him in that interview, boy. He looked like he was tweaking. He got his shirt off. He's sitting there, like, talking with his fingers and... Using using big vocabulary words like "ti" that he just learned today. <laughs> Look at here, nigga. Can you see the screen, bro? We need just need to give all credit to the lingerie football league. Boy, and they be hitting too, boy. They they do not give a fuck. They These be, women ah. want to play football, and they understand. That if they don't objectify themselves and put on these goddamn these goddamn bikinis while they play and put the shoulder pads over the titties and leave the titties out, don't nobody want to see y'all motherfucking play football. 
Like, come on. Like, WNBA need to fucking take a, a note. Take notes. Nigga, what the fuck is going on, bro? This this is this is what we want to see. Now, it's harder to... Now, nah, I'm finna say, now, nah, it really is some, some point guards in WNBA that you want to see. But them centers, them Britney Grinders and shit, you know. You ain't trying to see them. But... <laughs> You you can you can play in sweatpants. Yeah, you can play. You can pick and choose, but what's gonna happen? Look, look, but if you pick and choose, what's gonna happen is the chicks who choose to wear the bikini and play are gonna get all the deals and endorsements and all the money and all you other prude ass bitches. You're gonna be fucking complaining then. Now it's gonna what's up? Y'all wanted some support. Y'all could get the support right now. There's more women in, in the world than there is men. Why the fuck women ain't watching the motherfucking WNBA? If you want us to watch it, put the damn thong on and, and dribble the ball, bitch. Put on the motherfucking bikini. Look at this. Look at this. This is brilliant. Hey, but not just that. You got to start from the bottom. I mean, when they was playing, when men was playing, they were playing in sweaters and leather helmets. <laughs> Man. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Cool, she's all for it. <laughs> I'm just saying, in general, I mean, hell. I'm all for it. That means most people are going to be all for it. Six sales. It's not a It's not a question. Nah, yeah. <laughs> That's not up for debate. <laughs> it's not up for debate at all, so ever. The WNBA play in motherfucking bikinis. They will be as big as the UFC in two years. <laughs> Nigga, motherfucking number one draft pick gonna be picked because she finding the motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck basketball. I told you, like, even even in uh, flag football, they kind of understand that they wear them little bitty shorts like that. They wear them either either that or them tight spandex clothes. That's how they wear. I was like, they wear whole Holy body suits. Holy shit, <laughs> the front line is bending over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what you. Hey, this is what's gonna have to happen. WNBA. Just you're just gonna have to get over it. You're never gonna make the big bucks, okay? Nigga, they put, they got the bitch. They showing the up closer the bitch with the bikini on, and they putting the screen on her back and on her no. stomach, so you no. have a reason to look at it even more. Fucking. Absolute brilliance. Ab just these are the modern day. These are the modern day Benjamin Franklins, right here. <laughs> these are the modern day Thomas Edison's. The people who come up with these concepts. Oh, and I mean a good color variety. Oh. That nigga said a good color. It's just amazing. Just absolutely fantastic. Any hoe really be playing hard too, so you know they ain't really just no prissy bitches just trying to look cute out here. There's some big burly bitches out here too. Nah, man, I didn't see, I didn't see them, bro. I didn't see them, I didn't see them do some hits, boy. Yo, them I was like, man, man, I don't want to take that hit. I don't care if it's from female or male. <laughs> man, I'll run these bitches over, nigga. I'll run all these bitches. Right now, off the couch, I'll run all these hoes over. You got me fucked up, but still. Uh, right now, how, how loud up you are, yeah. <laughs> Not nigga, me, no, 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 Nigga, sober. waking up in the no. morning. Nigga, I can have a cold and I will run these hoes over. They they yeah. also hitting the feathers. They is the other bitches just lighting the motherfucker too. They playing on their level. Vegas Sin is the name of the other team. Vegas Sin. You right. Six. <laughs> I'm just trying to be nice, bro. I'm trying to be nice. I ain't trying to hit no bitch again. Again. <laughs> Man, nah, run that bitch over. Bow. Matter of fact, matter of fact, <laughs> matter of fact, they need to let for the halftime show. They need to get a, a B team out there. Any guy who wants to run the football against these girls, 
Say, you think you can do it? And nigga get his ass fucking dog piled. <laughs> Been one nigga with no line, no block. Nah, you get you get to choose one blocker. <laughs> you gotta run 50 yards. Nigga, I go to the game specifically for that challenge. Pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. I'ma be t nigga, once I know I'ma get down, I'm just gonna grab a bitch. I'm just gonna grab her. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab them. Fumble! Oh, I ain't fumble shit. I got them firmly in my hands. I ain't fumble a damn thing. But he hugged, he hugged running, bro. Like, got some skills. But just hitting that wall, nigga. I don't want to hit that wall. That's something. <laughs> Man, I need that wall soft. Man, I need this on. I need this back on regular TV. I need this back on regular TV. Nah, man, they ain't never bringing that back on TV. Man, this it's was, too long. This was up lit, uploaded four months ago. Yeah, from twenty fourteen, bro. Yeah, twenty fourteen. But that <laughs> mean it's still buzzing, though, nigga. Well, obviously it's gonna buzz, nigga, on video, but still, nigga, that mean there's still something for it. This whole, nigga, look up any W, nigga, look up any WNBA highlight video and got half as many views. So talk to me. <laughs> and got a, a WNBA video that was posted of some relevant shit. Britney Griner, Britney Griner court case videos got way more views than any of her highlights. All of them combined. <laughs> well, well, um, one of the people from the WNBA thought that they was gonna sell out on her first game back. They were like, "Yeah, uh, that bitch was mad." Talking about where were y'all at? At home, watching the Kardashians. Watching the Kardashians <laughs> or some shit. Watching the NBA playoffs. Bitches must be delusional. Like when you ask me what news have I heard about the WNBA? What? What have I watched the game, nigga? I barely watch NBA, nigga. Damn. <laughs> Seen the WNBA, man. They'll go hard, man. Like I'ma just be like, yeah, fuck NBA, nigga. Them NBA, that oh, that shit go hard, nigga. That shit, that shit boy. <laughs> That's this shit, boy. Watching all them Joanna Mans. <laughs> I forgot who said that. They're like, man, all them Joanna Mans. <laughs> Joanna Man. Yeah, nigga, the Britney Grind is a Joanna Man if you ever seen one. Bruh. That bitch vo voice deeper than mine, bro. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that, bro? Like, what the fuck is that? And I'll be like, do y'all be trying to force that? Hey, uh, Man, nah, she got that rumble down now. That 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 Adam's apple rumble down now, boy. Like, it really something. Nigga, she smoked a pack of Newports to get that shit. Man, nah, that bitch probably took some testosterone. Nah, yeah, could be. That bitch probably went on that good old testosterone hey, treat. Do the do the WNBA get drug testing? They better be testing this bitches for testosterone. <laughs> Yeah, but you would only have to have like heightened levels of testosterone for like the certain time period or whatever. Like you could get away with that shit. Well, just like anything, I guess, off season. I finna say, nigga, you can take steroids for all your life, nigga. You take steroids from age sixteen to motherfucking age twenty six, and then decide that you want to start doing UFC. As long as you clean when you go to store doing UFC, nigga, you good. Well, that's why they waiting on Conor McGregor to submit his piss test, but this nigga mm -mm, taking his time on his yachts. Oh, yeah, that's another one of them tricks I'm telling you why I don't fucking put too much stock in. Oh, he does fucking steroids, so take away from his legacy. Because, nigga, you don't know what the fuck tricks is out there. Nigga, that's the, the main trick right there, motherfucker. You can... Fall out of the use out of pool for as long as you want to jump back in there as long as you in there a couple months prior to your fight or whatever. No, like, 
Like, ha- did you ever see that Lance, Lance Armstrong documentary? No. Nah. Like, well, how? Like, this nigga was getting like IVs. All, they was doing all kinds of crazy shit. <laughs> like in the middle of races, they getting IVs in the hotel rooms, and man, that shit was wild. In the middle of the race. Yeah. They could go to the hotel room in the middle of the race. I think they would stay in hotel rooms, huh? In the middle of the race. When they doing like Tour de France, they're just not gonna race for like two, three days, man. And they just stop. Nah, I fucking, I didn't know. That nigga, bro, I don't fucking watch no motherfucking Tour de yeah. France, nigga. I've never man. watched that shit in my entire life. Like, only clips I've seen is when they start talking about that nigga taking steroids. Yeah, me too. How the <laughs> fuck would I know, did, nigga? What's but the fucking like, point the, of the sport? Y'all niggas get to go sleep in a hotel? What the fuck? They, uh, they, they was doing all kinds of crazy shit to get this nigga clean. And I was like, God dang. That's when I, and then that, that led me to that other documentary on Netflix about the Russians, how they was, uh, how they cheated in the Olympics and swapped out drug tests. <laughs> yeah, them Russian motherfuckers notorious for cheating in the Olympics. Well, they, they, they bought a building next to the fucking testing lab so they can switch out vials. That shit was wild. <laughs> I think they, uh, I think they got stripped, though, of all the yeah, shit. Yeah, they can on. stick to that shit. But then that's when everybody that's when they started coming out like yeah everybody does this it's just you do it during the off season you don't do it while you know what I'm saying there's like windows to this shit and I was like ah oh, right. shit there's windows right nigga damn I thought everybody was clean <laughs> no sir no sir Bob no sir Bob look I love I love my nigga George but. Who? George St. Pierre, but that nigga look brolic, man. You know, you can't just say straight up for sure that that nigga been clean this whole motherfucker. You know, yeah. know what I'm saying? But, ain't nobody, ain't nobody so, always just but, clean, nigga. And I, like I said, there's, there's certain shit that was legal at the time and that's legal in Windows, whatever. Yep. But his his shit was always his mind, his his game plan. I don't know. This nigga never... Don't get me wrong. No, no, no. I know he's one of the goats. He's, I would never, again, my whole point is I would never take anything away from a nigga who's really great because of steroids. But whenever <laughs> motherfuckers bring up the steroid or the goat conversation, you bring up John Jones, they're like, nah, GSP because he was clean the whole time. Mm-hmm. And it's like, nigga, you don't know what the motherfucker a nigga was, bro. You know and what see, I'm saying? GSP never been like, he's never been like, no, I'm clean or whatever. I feel like he was very, he's always been very knowledgeable of what you can and can't do. That's, I feel that's what it is. I mean, yeah, that's, but he, that's what I'm saying. That's part of the, why he's like the re, the poster boy for clean. You know what I'm saying? He's like the poster boy for clean. I did it clean. I've always been clean. But nigga, and what, he seems what like the nicest, he, was, he seems like the nicest guy in the world, but I'm not taking your word for it, nigga. Like, yeah. I don't give a, like, bro, you seem like the nicest dude in the world, but you'd be naive to take. A nigga's word for it, bro. But for me, I, I, what I like, he was just one of them dudes. Like, man, y'all, uh, yeah, I, I don't think he was ever clean, clean like nothing. Like I said, nobody's fighting that isn't taking some type of PED because there's legal PEDs. Like, so, so mm-hmm. you know what I mean, like. Now there, you know, there are certain levels to cheating, like niggas this really really trying to you know steroid up and do you know taking advantage and this niggas who you know a little bit here and there to to heal this or recover faster you know shit like that there's you know there's levels to it there's you know there's dirty grimy guys that really you know, Vitor Belfort is one of them who really try to beef up and get in there and, and you know knock somebody the fuck out type shit but overall like I said there's there's there is no consistency when it comes to steroids and winning and being great. There's yeah. plenty of motherfuckers who more motherfuckers did that. That if you take everybody that did steroids that ever fought, ninety percent of them was garbage. Garbage. I, I, I might be wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure I heard somewhere where. Okay, what ends up happening too is with a lot of these cats that that bulk up on steroids a lot yeah they bulk up but it 
their muscles are not not their muscles but it makes their bones weaker so they don't really get to reach full potential because they they can get hurt easier and people that stick to the routine when you can kind of like like St. Pierre, okay, he's not going to stay dirty the whole time. I've never heard that. That it makes your bones weaker. You didn't heard that? Never heard of that. I don't know if I there's might... anything to support that. Because, um, I mean, bro, you got to think about it. A nigga, like, a nigga, when you, when you got to, like, bro, like, that's how people think of steroids. When you when you hear steroids, you just start putting all of the th the, the things, the negative things now, on steroids that you know. Of. There's different types of steroids, but there's different people that do steroids. Most of these fighters aren't like the steroid idiots that just do steroids. They they also know about their calcium, their nutrition and shit. Nobody's bone density is decreasing that does professional fighting and steroids. Like they know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody's. I never heard nobody's bone weakening from it, but I mean, let's take Anderson Silva for instance. He used steroids, but he only used them to recover when he was when he was when he was sick and, and injured or whatever, right? He's never mm -hmm. ever been nobody to just use them hoes. His leg got broke, but he's amongst one of the lowest users of them hoes. So you know what I mean? Like I wouldn't use him as an example. I feel like his legs got broke because that nigga fucking old. <laughs> Frazzle probably, you know what I mean? I don't know what the well, fuck is. Well, you can even take, like, Brock Lesnar, because Brock, when he got in trouble for his, but they were like, no, like, this nigga got an actual gut problem. Like, it's not. Did he break a leg or a bone or something? No, he he had a uh, the, the gut issue, so they had to give him some type of steroid for that. Oh, well, he was just taking steroids in general, though. I think that nigga was just taking steroids in general, though. Cause I think at one point the UFC was kind of like trying to cover that shit up or whatever, and still let that nigga fight. I I I, I had went through this. I had went through this at some point because my other nigga Brandon, I, the nigga that like wrestling, the nigga from up north Vermont, we yeah. were arguing about this shit long one night. I think I might got it on stream, but we were arguing about the shit, and that nigga, uh, I was telling that nigga, nah, that nigga. Brock Lesnar didn't get popped for steroids in the UFC. He's like, hey, what? You fucking crazy? Yes, he did. It was a whole thing. Yes, the fuck he did. I'm like, hold on, B. I'm going to look it up. Let me look. Show sure enough. That nigga got popped like three times. Like, I was like, okay, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, okay, boom, boom, boom. But it was because the UFC was kind of like brushing over that shit. They wouldn't make no big deal out of that shit because they wanted Brock to keep fighting. To keep fighting, yeah. Well, Brock a steroid junkie. Uh, I wouldn't, but no, nah, I wouldn't say a junkie because Brock, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm trying to differentiate. He wouldn't really know junkie, but, but you know, but you, WWE like, niggas do that shit. He he's so big. He's so big. I was like, come on, man. I don't I don't think a normal, you know, it might take my three days to flush my system. Your big ass. I don't give a fuck, nigga. It's gonna take a lot to get all that shit out your big ass muscles. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, everybody metabolism different, so yeah. Well, that well you. But he did fail. Is, he did fail. Your, your your metabolism is different, but your metabolism has to do with your stomach, no? And you got a stomach problem, so it might not metabolize as fast. There you go. There you go. Makes sense to me. Makes sense to me. And uh, I don't know how long he had been dealing with. It seems just like that that was just something that just kind of came upon him. I don't know if that was something from steroid related, though. Oh, okay. That too. His, his whole stomach issue or whatever, whatever the fuck that shit was. Um, well, I don't, I don't, I never heard of steroids causing stomach issues. I know they cause heart issues. It was some type of disease or whatever. Like, no, well, he has a stomach be, disease, yeah. Right, that's what I'm saying. It just happened to be in the stomach. Like, but I don't know if there was steroid induced. It, it, the whole time I've thought about it, what I've seen just seemed it was like it was just something that he had. Yeah. But he was a steroid motherfucker too, though. He ain't break no bones. Oh, big motherfucker. That dude's a fucking freak. He was so quick, though, to the takedown. Like, how you that quick? Like, steroids can't make you faster, bro. I don't think that. They, they make yeah, you bulky. Yeah, no. Steroids can give you, make quicker, quick and fast, two different things. Okay, and Black, yeah. and Brock was very quick. It can give you, you know, well, bursts he, like that. It can definitely do that for you. 
give you that explosion. Yeah, that explosiveness. Because that's what he had, that pow, that. Yeah, that, that pop. That motherfucker shoot for a takedown so fast. That's why they trying to put him at nose guard when he was playing football so he can get over that center. Mm -hmm. That motherfucker was a beast, man. Uh, him versus Ngannou would be the match of all time. I, I I like watching him in wrestling because like this nigga just be manhandling people and they be like, man, he treats you like a feather. <laughs> he be <laughs> nigga got finesse. They're like, they're like unless you unless you hit him for real, then he gonna give you a couple receipts back and knock and hit you for real back and be like, calm down, nigga. <laughs> and then and now I seen clips of him doing this shit. This born big dude need him to the face, and he like, bah, bah, like he gave him a combo and he's like. Slow the fuck down. <laughs> and the dude was bigger than him. The dude was just like, God damn, this nigga hit me hard as fuck. <laughs> the dude was bigger than Brock? Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Who the fuck is that dude? His name is Braun I mean, he just bigger. He tall as fuck. He, he, he like a bodybuilder type dude. He's just a big ass monster. Who? But Brock. Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman. Yeah. With the beard. Yeah, he got a big ass beard. Who is this nigga? Did he? This nigga bigger than him? This black dude, Omus. Oh yeah, Omus. He just came out. Yeah, Omus. He is bigger a big than he bigger than the nigga you said was bigger than Brock. Yeah, he he the Nigerian giant. That nigga just came out. He been and Of course they always got these gay ass names. The Nigerian nah, giant. He, nah, he really is from Nigeria. Like this nigga. Yeah, they, no they shit, of him. course. And they would go with the gimmicky ass name of Nigerian Giant. Of course, I know. They 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 found this nigga and just brought him in and been like trying to they've been trying to work with him to make him a big ass. Because dude. they fucking cheese ass heard Francis Ngannou say on Joe Rogan podcast that everybody back home looks just like me. <laughs> and they went back and fucking found one nigga. They they heard that nigga say that shit. So they went to Africa and found him a big ass nigga. I mean they've been having that nigga for like five, six years, just training that nigga, trying to get the nigga ready. Mm. Being yeah, that that dude bro <laughs> that nigga he hit he hit Brock for real and Brock just ta, 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 he gave him some gave that nigga a fat ass chin combo. I was like, damn, <laughs> And you, can, and you can even hear it like on the paper on the in the on the TV episode and he's like, slow the fuck down. <laughs> I was like, damn, this nigga mad. That's a big ass. Braun Strowman. But them punches looked it real. Yeah, I gotta find that video. They call it the Brock Lesnar gives him a receipt and the nigga just clocked that nigga. Bop, bop. They gave a nigga a two piece right here. Bop, bop. <laughs> that hoe looked it real too. Let me see. Are you watching it? Oh. Yeah, that was bop, it. That was bop. it. Yeah. He gave that nigga. I'm talking. That look like a real two piece, nigga. Yeah, that was real. That was he gave him a real one. That's when he told him slow the fuck down when he walked up to him. He need him in the face right there, bop. He took that knee for real, and bop, yeah, he, bop, he, he, he came up, bop, bop. <laughs> he need him for real, and he's like, boy. Oh, that nigga <laughs> mouth opened up. Oh. <laughs> I see him. I see him talking. Boom yeah. knee. <laughs> Punches. Bop. He rocked that nigga in his ear. <laughs> oh, I know that whole hurt, nigga. <laughs> that. They were like, though, they were real punches right there. The jaw, though, though. I needed a jaw. He caught me. Oh, oh that wow. Oh, man, that clubby. Oh, oh that wow. Good I needed the jaw. Lord. I needed the jaw. He caught Lesnar good. I needed the jaw. Yeah, caught but... Brock got him back. <laughs> David doesn't believe what just happened. 
I mean, it's the same look that Whoa, all of us the, have. There's the knee. There's the knee. I'm on the ear. And then he picked the nigga up and slammed it. Hit his right hand from Lesnar. And Wham! there's the right. And that didn't scramble oh Strowman's brain. Scrambled it away. That dude, they never talked about it, but everybody else is like, yeah, Brock, Brock did not like that. <laughs> that knee to the face was, was too hard. <laughs> Brock could beat that nigga in soup in real life. <laughs> so we yeah. Bro, Ron Strowman cool. talks about Bro. Brock Lesnar punching him for real in the head. What the fuck is he talking about, McGee? You know, damn well he didn't talk about this shit. Oh, it's I didn't see that. It's fucking 2023, nigga. Tell you that for those who are interested. Hey, uh, speaking of video. That, that's when he got let go of the company. That's why he talked about it. I agree wholeheartedly. He never really talked about it. Yeah, hey, some who's stronger. Oh man, I don't know. Brock's a tough individual. It just depends on what, like, what style you're talking about. As far as strength-wise, I believe I'm a good bit stronger than him. But when it comes to technique and things like that, I know he's a lot more advanced yeah, than that. So it's a 50-50 thing. Brock's a tough individual, but I also like to think that I am as well. Talking about it, because they they were talking about how much they can max lift. They're like Brock Lesnar. He. He's like his max ain't big. He just he's explosive. Well, like, he just ex he well he just explained it perfectly. He's like I'm probably stronger than Brock, but yeah. basically what he broke it down to is what are you using the strength for? He's probably better and can use his strength better in every way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter how strong you are if you don't know how to apply the technique properly to use all your strength. That's some, that comes from his wrestling background. You know how to use that. That's why, nigga, when I was in like. In eighth grade, I could hand clean like way more than anybody in my weight because I knew how to get under that bar and knew the technique. Technique, everything. Then wrestling, your yeah, wrestling will definitely tell you how to use your own body weight and how to use your opponent's body weight. And yeah, you especially, and then use yours to weigh them out. You just you put your white weight on them. Corey Hogan his destroys Molly Karen. Huh? Man. What? These niggas out here getting their ass kicked in arm wrestling match by a bitch. Ooh. This shit is disgraceful. Nah, this bullshit. This bitch is like slamming her head. Like, no, fuck all that. I don't know what you're talking about. These bitches are like winning against guys in the arm wrestling, but they're like, they're doing this. Like slamming their entire body and head to the side, like. And trying to do it fast, like to where a nigga can't see. Bro, this bullshit. Mark, Mark Henry and John Cena did a uh, <laughs> a fucking uh, wrestling match, a fucking arm wrestling match. Oh, Triple yeah. H and Great Khali. <laughs> They be doing stupid shit. Stupid shit. Why are they doing arm wrestling? Cam shit. Cam yeah. Shamrock and British Bulldog in the middle of a British Bulldog fucking head, but if this nigga Cam Shamrock instead of finishing the game, is he throwing dog shit on this nigga? Or dog food? What the fuck is this? I can't see what you're showing. Man, I'm not finna get no. Uh, I'm not finna give my video to fucking Vince McMahon. Fuck that. Scott Steiner, Triple H. This nigga Triple H having a seizure. Bro, hell nah. I hate this shit. Bro, I hate. I gotta show this. I hate this shit. Let me see this shit.
Oh, this shit's so stupid. Uh. What, what what I hate about Big Papa Pump, which is Scott Steiner, is he known for steroid use, but he is actually a good wrestler, bro. Like he's actually like a collegiate wrestler, like Brock and all them niggas. Like, <laughs> what the fuck they gotta do with anything? Nah, he's just known for being a big ass muscle dude when I mean, he can actually wrestle. <laughs> so is Brock Lesnar. <laughs> But he can't wrestle because he all bumped up on steroids now. <laughs> Who? Oh, Scott Steiner? Yeah. He's not wrestling. He's doing fake wrestling. No, nah, even when he does when he does his like I'm well on that it's just the arm shit, but he just like terribly slow, like cause you can tell this nigga on steroids. This yeah, but what terrible. is it you you for some reason think it fucking matters that they're <laughs> that they were good wrestlers. They're not wrestling anymore. There's no professional wrestling. There's no there's no such thing as professional wrestling like you do in college right. in the Olympics. There's no such thing as that at all. But it and, don't exist. And he's he's actually old as fuck, even though he looks no shit. He, like, he look old because he, he he like around Hogan's era. He's Hogan's era. Bro, the Steiner brothers, Hogan's you're not breaking news. Everybody knows this nigga is old as fuck. He looks old. His skin look wrinkled just like that nigga fucking Hulk Hogan. White dudes age like milk. We know he's old as fuck. They got that that leathery skin. Yes, dude, that tan too many times ass skin. Nobody thought this nigga was thirty. That's why I hate that Triple H was selling like that. I was like, bro, this nigga old as fuck, and you selling like you. Triple H was young and handsome. Night. The the worst one is is uh Shawn Michaels when he was uh when he went against Hulk Hogan. He because Hulk Hogan, there was supposed to be like a best out of three and Hulk Hogan was like nah brother we're only doing one and so Shawn Michaels was like well fuck it then nigga I'm gonna be a clown show in here. Mm -hmm. So he was like overacting for everything that Hulk Hogan would do. To him. He's like, you want to be the superstar? Okay, this uppercut gonna send me flying all the way across the ring and outside the ring, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Missing persons. She good looking. Somebody, yeah, somebody might actually look for her. Who? Mm, some half decent looking white chick, Donna Cloud. Uh, she missing. Yeah, I guess she from where we from. Where I'm from. Shit. You're a white bitch. They'll look for you. You're a white bitch. They'll look for your ass. Like George Lopez said, it's called Amber Alert for a reason. Well, yeah. The bitch name was Amber. <laughs> they looking for Amber. <laughs> nah, I got like two Amber Alerts earlier today, nigga. I was like, well, it's why this bitch keep you in the wrong car? It's literally <laughs> named after a little white bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're gonna look for that bitch. Yeah, nobody told your little white bitch to not get in strangers' cars. They're gonna, <laughs> they gonna look for that bitch for a, a, a minimum of five years. Minimum. <laughs> minimum. They're they gonna find that bitch leg in a dumpster and still keep the look at, look at. <laughs> she can survive without a leg. She might still be out there. The leg was just the sign. This is now this is we're, we're 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 keying in on the case. We're zeroing in. We found her leg. We gotta find the rest of her. She's, we she's, found four fingers and a liver. She, you can live without a liver, without half your liver. This is only half a liver. She might still have the other half a liver in there. You can live with half a liver. We don't need your full liver. She could still be out there. She's five years old. We can get her another liver. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, they find your motherfucking uh, shoelace. Oh, he gone. You kick a shoe off to let them know to try to leave a trail. You you kick a shoe off. They find another Jordan a mile and a half up the road. Oh, oh, he's definitely dead. We ain't getting no closer to this. He's dead. And and they're pulling the little dicky nigga. We ain't coming out yet. Just hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yo, yeah, it's out of there, boy. So uh, the cloud, babe, the cloud lady. What's her name? Something cloud. Yeah, she be all right. They'll find her. Ass. Donna Cloud. 19 years old. 19, 97. She born in 97, nigga. She ain't no 19 no more. This shit must be old. Oh, this old. Why folks just po reporting this shit now? 
Oh well, I guess I, I guess I guess I'm already right then. This is from 2017, <laughs> and it just got posted today. Posted by two different people. They still looking for this bitch. It's 2007. It's six years later. I was already right. How the fuck anybody posting it? What the fuck? Why would what? Why would you post this shit so late? Yes. <laughs> She been missing since 2016. I just wish there was some info. She was my classmate friend. Never imagined this happened to her. She don't deserve this. What? Somebody an hour ago. I hope she gets found. What the fuck, nigga? If y'all ain't found her in seven years, nigga, she moved to Tijuana. I don't know. It's more people waiting on me in Africa than, than, than nigga. What? <laughs> ain't nobody waiting for you in Africa. And ain't nobody waiting for this bitch. She did. And that bitch got skinny in the motherfucker. She used to be thick. Now look like she did some drugs. Nah, I, I think people come come up missing late, but September sixteenth, Canelo, Charlo, is it locked in? That's for sure. Nah, they were just talking about it. I, I ain't heard it's been locked in yet. Two ten boxing TV. I never even heard of two ten boxing TV. Man, Canelo don't want no Charlo, bro. Canelo want to retire in the sunset and go off and just tour Mexico doing Spartan Park. That's what he needed to do. He needed to go do take the Floyd rap. So go ahead, retire, bro. Let these niggas take over. You ain't doing shit. You really ain't doing shit. Your last fight, you didn't do shit. You like couldn't take. You couldn't knock the nigga out, nigga. Nigga. I, taking I, away, I nigga, to... taking away from his career at this point. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just like you said, he needed to take that vlog made with around. You just travel the world, do a few fights, Con- get a few papers. Yeah, I said Conor McGregor when I was saying it, but I meant Canelo. But Conor McGregor needs to do the same shit here. Yeah, him too. I mean, you gonna draw a fight just because of how you talk and what you can. Canelo mainly because of what he carries. Mayweather McGregor was one of the biggest uh, selling fights of all time. And, and it comes with because of how much shit they talk to each other. <laughs> yeah, I mean, McGregor sell a fight like a motherfucker. Yeah. And he gonna hit the races. Shit. <laughs> and that's why Floyd was like, nigga, I loved, I loved with him because I knew he was gonna, he was gonna sell the fight. All these other boxers don't want to sell the fights. They want to be nice and Nah, nigga. Talk some shit. Yeah, talk some shit. Well, see, the thing is... We we can be nice after we beat the shit out of each other, bro. See, right bro. now, we need to talk some shit. Nigga, you saying that shit like you like like it's easy. Mm-hmm. Talk shit to me right now. That's hard, nigga. You my brother. I can't. Nigga, Miguel. If this no, one different... No, no. Shut, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. But see, you ain't even got to be personal. If this were a different time, I'd roll in on horseback. I'd come to your fucking village. I'd slap you Not in your yet. fucking face in front of your wife and children. And it's true because that's shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, the thing is, niggas don't have that gift to gab. And, and when you try to, like, force it, it it's cringy. It sounds dumb. You know yeah. what I mean? John Jones, do it. He, he do it well enough sometimes. But you can tell he ain't got that, that, that thing. Kind of the same thing it's, with Adesanya. That's why Adesanya it's, relies it's on so many. That's why Adesanya relies on so many references when he when he do the, the shit talking. <laughs> he ain't really got that gift to gab either. He just be talking, but it ain't like no cold ass shit. Conor McGregor, Tyson I Fury, Muhammad Ali, Floyd Mayweather. When they talk, see Floyd Mayweather just met a motherfucker that was just slightly above him when it came to it. When it was him versus Conor, Conor don't shut up. Conor is just. Him on steroids, like 
His Floyd mouth on steroids. Floyd just finna talk about that money. Connor finna get very imaginative with the shit. Very creative. And, and, and for him, like, not not to say, uh, I guess over there, like race, like, I don't know, like they, they don't understand this thing of racism. So that's when he was like, you don't dance with me, boy, or some shit like that. Right, yeah, but he not no he not no motherfucking honky, so like he ain't like no honky yeah. like this, so um yeah, so I mean that helps a little bit, but just in general, like he, he beat Floyd in the in the shit talking, but he beats anybody. Nah, Only person that can fuck with him is Tyson Fury. Only person fucking with that nigga is Tyson Fury, bro. Oh and, and uh, that nigga that nigga that nigga and I'll put it like this, that nigga give Chael son in the business. Conor, Conor McGregor give Chael Sonnen the business. And shit talking? Verbal. Oh, give that boy the business. The business, bro. I, I don't think anybody can hang on the mic in the UFC with Conor, bro. Can't nobody hang with that nigga except for Tyson Fury. And I think Conor yeah. might get that nigga Tyson Fury. Nah, I, I just can't see that nigga Tyson Fury laying down. But if I had to put some money on it, it would probably be Conor. Who is even? I'm talking about of all time, bro. Even of all time, bro. She sure, when I was looking up Conor McGregor, they talked about the possibility of him going to the WWE. I was like, nigga, with his shit talking skills, perfect. I watch the WWE. Perfect. I watch. I watch it for two months. This this nigga gonna be the next Rock when the Rock was having his run, just talking shit to people. <laughs> the Rock was straight. Stone Cold was straight. But they were still like in that put on era of talk shit. Like it wasn't like heartfelt. It was just they had some cold ass line. Stick it up your candy ass. Like you know, it was kind of like rehearsed kind of lines. Yeah. Like it was always the candy ass, the you sick freak. Kind of like <laughs> corny. You know what I'm saying? Like Chill was kind of corny. But the thing that was just so good about Chill that it may have been practiced, but Chill was coming out the dome a lot of times, bro. Like, Chill was coming out the dome a lot of times. Like, his re his his reactions, his snapbacks was so snappy, and Chill never cursed, though. Chill never, ever cursed. Well, you, you remember that 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 woo, that woo video you sent me with Ric Flair and uh, that black dude? Yeah, and that woo man. back and forth. You watched the whole <laughs> thing? Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I seen him, and I seen uh, the black dude explaining it. He was like, they told me they're like, yo, you good? You do good impersonations backstage, so we, we want you to have a segment with Ric Flair. And he's like, but Ric Flair won't let us write nothing, so you go talk to him and see what y'all gonna do. Yeah. And he's like, I went to Ric Flair and I was like, I heard we got a segment. What you wanna do? And he's like, I don't talk about what we're gonna do, brother. I see you out there. <laughs> he just walked. So all that shit was just off the top of the door. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's Ric Flair, bro. Like, that's... See, now, that's the nigga... That's the nigga who had to get for Gail off top. He yeah, had it man, off man. top. He was one that had it off top. Like, and it didn't... Out of all the WWE, he's a nigga that didn't sound, like, over-rehearsed or sounded, like, corny when he mm -hmm. was talking. As he got older, obviously, he lost it a little bit. But, like, the, the older, older, when he came back here, like, recently... Nah, he ain't got it like that no more. But in his day, he had that shit. <laughs> And he like the only person in fake wrestling that I can think of that had that type of gift to give. Conor McGregor might be the best mouthpiece in fighting the all time, bro. The best uh, shit talk of all bro, time. No, definitely. I think definitely. I'm telling you, that's the goat line right there. If this were another time, I'd ride into your village on horseback. Nigga, and slap you in the in your face in front of your entire family. I'm like, bro, this nigga but is the goat. Lying, bro, cause, cause them Irish people was savage like. That. And you know we love Vikings, bro. This nigga Connor yeah. Lothbrok, bro. This nigga Connor Lothbrok, Ragnar McGregor, nigga. I fucked with that nigga, bro. Celtic pride. And then, bro, like, oh, my goodness, bro. And then, like, he got some playing shit, too. Like, the Draymond Green thing, bro. When he was wearing uh, a number 23 Warriors jersey, the old school one. Mm -hmm. And all it, showed, all it showed was the front of that hoe. And the Warriors was in the playoffs. 
So Draymond Green tweeted at that or commented on that nigga shit on Instagram talking about nigga we don't rock with you. We going for Floyd. We going for Floyd. We don't rock with you. Boom 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 that type of shit. Mm-hmm. This motherfucker said this is a goddamn CJ Watson jersey. I don't even know who the fuck you are. I dribble He said you dribble basketballs. I dribble heads off the floor for a living. <laughs> You dribble basketballs. I dribble heads off the floor for a living. I don't even know who the fuck you are. <laughs> yeah. I remember that line. And that nigga legitimately had a CJ Watson jersey on. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. Yeah, I, I remember that line. I dribble heads. <laughs> Bait taken. Nah, that nigga Condor's good. At... Who the fuck is that guy? That was my favorite one, nigga. <laughs> Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> Jeremy Stevens. Stupid ass nigga. Don't nobody know you, nigga. Don't pick up the microphone when Connor in the middle of a rant. Nigga, I'm an important here. Who the fuck are you? He wasn't even talking? fighting Connor, bro. He wasn't even fighting Connor. He just in Connor weight class and was trying to campaign to get a big fight. He's like, we, when I when I when you hit people when you hit people they stay up and you got to keep hitting them when I when I hit people they go to sleep and that nigga dropped the mic like you really said something nigga, who the fuck is that guy <laughs> nobody fucking that, know you that's my favorite line bro who the fuck he said it with such conviction who the fuck is that guy like bro he's such a good actor bro. He said this shit like he was truly perplexed. Who the fuck? Like, like that nigga just dropped in from the sky and was never at that table the whole time and then just said something. Somebody gave him a mic. Who the fuck is that guy? Let alone, how did he get a mic? Who the fuck is that? How, when did he get here? Wait, when did they give fans microphones? <laughs> Who the fuck is that guy? And the accent with that. The... <laughs> Who the oh, fuck that. is that guy? I need to make it that. Is, I need to is. make that. Insider. I need to make Connor, that my ringtone. Take a look around you. You got a lot of champions, a lot of grizzled vets. Who do you think would give you the hardest fight out of anybody on stage? Right here. Right here. The hardest hitting 145 pound. The real hardest hitting 145 are right here. This guy TKOs people. When I knock people out, they don't fucking move. Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> you know damn well who I am. Who the fuck is that? And, um, oh my god. Oh my god. When I god. take that guy's belt, leprechaun. Oh, good one. When I take that guy's belt, I don't, I'm don't. i looking around. I don't know what anyone else has for me around here. I might have to jump up and fucking drag Floyd Mayweather out of bed and see what the fuck he's at again. Bro, you can't <laughs> fuck with this nigga, man. You can't. I, I want that. I need that as my ringtone. Who the Bro, fuck you is can't. that? Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> <laughs> who, who the fuck? <laughs> who, who the fuck is that guy? Oh man! Have, have that shit ring for every time like a spam call comes in. <laughs> man, goat shit. Yeah, you got yeah, to remember certain things in the fights. Because I lost, you lost memory. Keep it nice and clean. I'm talking, Tyson. I'm talking banana peel. I'm talking big woman. He was, he was fighting I'm talking big mama. I'm talking big mama. I brought you back. You were strung out on cocaine, bruh. No one knows you. You were big as a house, bro. You could cherry pick me. You were contemplating you about killing pussy. yourself because you didn't want to live anymore, And that's anymore, the man you bro. wanted to take on, was it? Well, the man who was going to kill himself. I said, get your you fat ass up. An easy victory, I said, you? you get in that but gym. Didn't work I out, said, did I dare it? you to come back. I out. said, you won't come back. It's one of the time he won't be able to get up. And since he's in WWE, I'm going to make sure he go right out the ring. And I might get on the top of the buckle of the rope and come down with a flying elbow. And I might get on the top of the buckle of the rope. Who knows? He need validation from the people. He needs some type of inspiration, some type of motivation to feel like he beat me such a far wide margin that, that he did. Steps, man, man you know I'm telling did? you, dog. That's why I be wanting so that nigga to say less, dog. Say less.
times. Just fight. Just, just, and I'm the current you just tap a nigga. Shut up and dribble. Era. You're really that type of nigga. Shut up and box. <laughs> skinny leg super noodle will have to do. Nail me to the canvas. And if he can't do that, I'm going to eat him up. Let somebody else speak, bro, because he's not, he's not a smile piece. Friend. No. He's no, very no. nervous underneath. No. I can see his jumper going in and out with his heartbeat pounding out of his chest. Back, Terrified. You believe Terrified. Bro, <laughs> this nigga is so awkward, bro. Are <laughs> you seeing this? Wilder, this is a big act for him. He's very nervous underneath. This nigga, bro. I can see his jumper going in and out with his heartbeat pounding out of his chest. Terrified. You believe Terrified. Right, Tyson right, Fury, eat this nigga up on the mic. He don't know what to expect. He doesn't know what to expect. That, that's why I sent you that video where he was mocking him the day of the fight and he was covering up with his bitch. When I knock you out, go and Tyson Fury started comedy, cutting up bro. with his brother and started trying to suck under the mouth. Nah, nigga, uh, fucking, if anybody <laughs> need to catch their smoke, Dillian, Dillian White, Dillian White need to catch this smoke for laughing at, uh, for laughing at that nigga, uh, Wilder the way he laughed at that nigga, bro. <laughs> he laughed, <laughs> he laughed at that nigga, boy. I'm talking about got a good, a good old deep from the belly laugh at that nigga, boy. His feet, but I would have stopped him on the floor. Do you think, um, throwing in the towel was the right decision? They should have stopped the fight two rounds before. I think they allowed him to take too much beating, but obviously I get it. He's a champion. He's been reigning for a long time, so they give him a bit more time than he needed. But I think he took a serious beating. He definitely needs surgery in his ears because his, his, his um, equilibrium is burst. In the aftermath of this fight. <laughs> Sorry, I just laugh at him because he got, he got beat up so bad. <laughs> 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 hey nigga, if I'm Deontay, if I'm Deontay Wild, I want my paper, nigga. I said, you know what, bro, that, that you shit talk, came so from a crazy. good place. A that good, healthy from... belly button laugh, nigga. That whole came from the nutsack laugh, nigga. <laughs> He could have beat Mike Tyson, Mama, Daddy. You could say he could have beat all these guys in his prime. Hey, no, he dude. couldn't. He haven't. He don't have the stuff that them guys had. Them guys had incredible toughness, incredible boxing IQ, good movement, good jab, good good. Dad didn't have what had, which is a good right hand. That and because he's he's tall and skinny, and a lot of people you fight is well overmatched. He just gets him, but. By well, what you gonna himself. do against Wilder, nigga? You can't do. Wilder finna no, screw baby. that nigga too. <laughs> oh, you for what? You know, Wilder finna knock your bitch ass. I, nigga, AJ knocked his ass out brutally, brutally knocked that nigga the fuck out. Oh yeah, then Wilder just gonna. <laughs> nigga, AJ brutally knocked this nigga out. Wilder gonna play with his food. I mean, not Wilder. Fury gonna play with his food if he fight that nigga. And Wilder too, nigga. He ain't got no business in the ring with no motherfucking Tyson Fury. Uh, He'll right. never fight no Tyson Fury. <laughs> He'll never do that. But that, AJ had this nigga skipping so hard in this motherfucking ring. That boy looked like Bambi. That boy looked like Bambi. Somebody, somebody showed that trick that uh, Tyson Fury was doing with his gloves. Remember that when uh, and he had that nigga like this on the ropes. Man, if a nigga got you like this, and the ref got to come take, come take the mouthpiece out your motherfucking mouth for you and shit. Ah, uh, you out of there, cuz. Oh, the ref got to come take the mouthpiece out your mouth for you, cuz. Oh no, man. Yeah, that's a terrible look. Bro, you hear that nigga looking like Bambi. Oof. That dude just so muscular. God damn. Yeah, that nigga looks great. He made that nigga lay down like he finna go to sleep. He laid it like he on the recliner. He put that nigga in a, rock, in a, in a lazy boy. <laughs> with that boy and the lazy boy. The kickback. The kickback. Yeah, he did that boy filthy, man. <laughs> Alright, young amigo. I'm hungry than a motherfucker. <laughs> I 
Hit like, subscribe to Music TV. Hit that boy Migo custom gear for your custom gear. You feel me? Got the koozies. Got the koozies. I got some more. Yeah, yeah. All right, bro. Oh, yeah. Musician. I really can't follow. Get up off that car.